faucets were actually invented by the ancient Romans. But when their empire collapsed, so did their water and sewer systems. It took many centuries for running water to make a comeback and for water to become available on tap. Today, faucets are an indispensable part of our daily lives. Modern faucets come in many different designs, but inside, they all have the same basic components. Workers start by setting a brass spout tube on a revolving support. An automated dispenser applies silver solder to the inside rim of the spout. They press a threaded tip into the spout, then dip the other end of the tube in flux paste, which cleans the brass and prevents tarnishing. The tubes are set against brass hubs. Then, torches liquefy the solder which flows into the joint, sealing the tube to the hub. The threaded tip is soldered in turn. A carriage now moves the faucet spouts against buffing wheels coated with polishing compound for a mirror finish. A wheel with an abrasive surface gives that finish a brush texture. The faucet spouts are dipped in an acid bath laced with dissolved nickel. The application of an electric current draws the dissolved nickel onto the brass spouts, plating them with a thin, even layer. Next, the faucet spouts and other parts are loaded into a special chamber. Inside, an electron beam flashes like lightning as it spirals around the zirconium rod. This causes the zirconium to vaporize. The vapors mix with gases being pumped into the chamber and bond to the faucet for a final finish that's virtually indestructible. The other parts of the faucets get the same treatment. Meanwhile, a blade slices a solid brass rod into smaller pieces. A variety of cutting tools machine the brass lump to make a faucet body. It will house a ball valve that controls the volume and temperature of the water. A jaw grabs the other end of the brass body to position it for more drilling. Several tools carve out holes that will act as waterways. The waste brass gets recycled. that piece of solid brass has now been transformed into a pivotal piece for the faucet, the valve body. With copper tubes and brass fittings now attached, the faucet slides into the base plate. That's the plate that sits on the sink deck. Working from underneath, it's fastened with screws. Next, a robot puts one half of a stainless steel ball in a spinning vise, which orients it so an automated welder can join it to the other half. The ball's openings align with hot and cold inlets in the faucet body to regulate the flow of water into the spout. Rubber seals are inserted into those inlet holes in the faucet body. Rubber O-rings on the body will both form a seal and allow the spout to swivel. In goes the ball valve. Then a rubber seal caps it off. The aerator is screwed onto the spout and a pneumatic driver tightens it down. The spout assembly is secured to the rest of the faucet with a metal bonnet. Now, it's time to see how this faucet functions. An inspector connects it to a pressurized water source for a test run. Finally, the handle is attached to the rest of the faucet and it's ready to ship out. Included in the box are the spray hose and support system which will be installed on site. It takes a day or two to build one of these faucets but it will be on cleanup duty for many years to come.